Meghan and Harry axed by Prince Charles from key part of his coronation, source claims. Prince Charles wants a scaled-down coronation, a royal source said, with costs at a minimum. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could be sidelined, with just a slimmed-down monarchy on display. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will be snubbed from joining Prince Charles and Camilla at the balcony on Buckingham Palace after his coronation, a royal insider has claimed. A source said that a slimmed-down monarchy will be present at the coronation and believes the Sussexes won't be joining the key part of the ceremony. Only Prince William, Kate and their three children are likely to join Charles and Camilla when he ascends the throne, the source told the Mail on Sunday. They said the Prince of Wales wishes for his coronation to be far cheaper than the Queen's ceremony in 1953, which cost £1.57 million the equivalent of £46 million today. It was suggested that the list of guests will be as few as a quarter of the number invited in 1953, and there will be far fewer members of the royal family itself. A source said, it will be a slimmed-down monarchy on display throughout. I wouldn't be surprised to see just Charles and Camilla, Kate and William, and their children on the Buckingham Palace balcony afterwards. Prince Charles and Camilla will be crowned side by side in the scaled-back coronation ceremony, it is claimed. It comes after the Queen revealed it is her sincere wish that Camilla will be known as the Queen Consort when his son takes to the throne. The last time a Queen Consort was crowned was in 1937, when the Queen's mother, Elizabeth, sat alongside King George VI. A source said that plans for Charles and Camilla's coronation, which is due to happen within a year of his accession, are being discussed as part of Operation Golden Orb. The ceremony will be shorter, sooner, smaller, less expensive and more representative of different community groups and faiths. The source also said some aspects of the coronation will be altered to reflect modern-day Britain, but it will remain an Anglican service with the vows not expected to change. The number of guests will be limited to 2,000 and fewer members of the royal family will be in attendance. The Queen, who turns 96 in April, became the first British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee this month marking 70 years of service. She was crowned on June 2 in 1953 at Westminster Abbey, following the death of her father King George VI the previous year. Around 27 million people watched the ceremony on TV and 11 million listened on the radio. Earlier this month, she praised Camilla's loyal service and said she wants her daughter-in-law to become Queen Consort in the fullness of time. The Queen also said that when Camilla and Charles are crowned, she expects people across the country to offer the same support that you have given me. Eugenie was the first member of the royal family to see Harry after he, Meghan, and their son, Archie, stepped back from their royal roles and moved to California. As evidenced by their work over the past year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex remain committed to their duty and service to the UK and around the world and have offered their continued support to the organizations they have represented regardless of official role. We can all live a life of service. Service is universal, a spokesperson for the couple said at the time. Twitter is freaking out about the royals who attended the Super Bowl. After Prince Harry and Meghan Markle chose to step away from the royal family and live full-time in California, their lives have looked much different. According to The Independent, they have kept their titles, but are staying out of any royal duties. While leaving England has caused a rift in the family, one member has stuck by Harry and Markle. Harry 